What's up guys, it's Trees in downtown Ottawa in the Byward Market. And today we're gonna be talking to the people about something that just happened in the news. What was it? It was the Canadian federal election, you might have heard of it. And something during the election was released that didn't get too much coverage. And we are in the streets talking to people, trying to get their reactions. What was it? It was a photograph of Trudeau in blackface. Another one, yes, another one has been released. Uh, this one is in color. The other ones are black and white. This one's in color. So we're just trying to talk to people, see what they think. Is it the same old, same old business as usual? Or are they, you know, feeling some type of way about it? So let's talk to people, talk about all the political stuff that's going on, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I love it. You're, you're comfortable. You're like in your natural element. You're like on top. Of, I'm uh, kicking the trash. Honestly, guys, <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> Frankly, you don't know who you're speaking with, but you see my YouTube thing. If you think that what you film here will be as ghastly, as exhilarating as that, you have your money's worth. We're, we're just having fun. We're know, just out man. here, you that's, know. This is what that's what it, is. That's what it's all what about, your right? Still, man? Uh, I'm Trees, but also. Trees and Eric? Trees and Eric. Yilo. Yilo? How about you, man? What's your name? Can I, change, can I tell you what I'm going to change my name to? Yeah. No worries, yeah, fine. How are we filming? Microphone. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I, can I tell you what I'm going to change my name to? What's your name, my brother? Lucian Kai Swaglord Blader. Wait, Lucian Kai Blader Swaglord. I don't know which which one yet. Either one or the other. Both both sound pretty uh, enticing. I don't know. You got a little something going on there, like uh, Elon Musk. Uh, like. I think Elon, Elon <laughs> and I are uh, actually uh, we were separated at birth. By, I, our, by our gigantic brain. I, I, I think uh, his next child might need to have some sort of name like similar to what you got there. Kind of like elongated muskrat? Some, something like that, exactly, exactly. Elongated muskrat. So, welcome guys. Want some reactions. All right, all right. So today we are uh, talking to people on the streets. We are showing them photographs of the Justin Trudeau blackface that recently came out just before the election. The night just before the election, it was released. So we are seeing what people think. Is it just the same old, same old? Who gives a shit? Or are people appalled? So here you go, my friend. This is the image. What do you think? Clearly propaganda. So stupid. Don't care. Clearly propaganda, so stupid, don't care. Any idiot that sees this, if that swayed your vote, you're an idiot, never vote again until you go to the library. Until you go to the library, son. Until clearly you... propaganda, clearly. On whose behalf? Obviously the Conservative Party. Okay, why would they release it just the night before and not like a week before? Because that will be when the voters are most influenced by their like sleep, probably before they dream. So like, <laughs> right before they go to bed, Trudeau's racist. Jane, 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 Trudeau's so racist. You guys read Young or like any of those psych, psych, uh, who is that, Freud? Yeah, yeah, of course. Carl Jung, Sigmund Freud. Yeah, the I classic, the I classic. Don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make your mom fall in love with me and then ghost her. No, no, by all means, please make my mom fall in love with you. <laughs> I think I made you fall in love with me, man. <laughs> uh, so, okay, um, all right, so I guess, yeah. It's chill, no, no big deal. So well, propaganda, it's, it's it, propaganda. No, no, it's it is a big deal because if you're propaganda, if you don't know what propaganda is, it's like when a party is trying to slander a, another party. Like, f like does does the fact that he did this? Okay, because it is racist to be to support blackface. Why didn't this photo come out when it was done? It probably did. Well, why is it getting repeated? It's a memory. Okay, so. The evil people are triggering your memory of something immoral, trying to get you to associate it to affect your moral judgment in the most liberal process that we have in Canada, frankly. If, frankly, if we were the states, it would be a much bigger problem because uh, in Canada we have like proportional power, kind of. Like the number of seats delegates the number of votes in the House of Commons, or so I understand. I'm not sure if you do. Nader, uh, what's your name again? 
I think uh, I, I think uh, it's my name. My name is Trees. What's up, guys? Trees. Tree, tree. <laughs> I, I've planted five hundred thousand of those, by the way. Respect, respect, man. We need more trees out there. But I think. He's uh, he's with us. He's back. He's back. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. If you ha uh, if you were prime minister and you had a billion dollars, what would you do? What would you do with that money? How would you allocate it? How would you spend it? Like I would definitely invest. I would definitely invest in, in this uh, penny stock I'm investing in right now. I think it's going to solve COVID. By the way, I think I'm a genius too. Just to 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 maybe put that thought in there before like this influences your like you know economic decisions. Called Thermabrite ticker T H R M dot V. It's on the uh, TSX and the OTC. And they're literally on the doorstep of FDA approval, might be this week. Okay. Invest okay. at least 500 to $501. This is not a recommendation, but you should do it if you can, because I ha I, my, I'm gonna disclose my position is $2,500 and 5,500 shares. And I've, I, I've been up 600, down $600. And respect. Appreciate your transparency, man. Respect. Respect. I gotta disclose it. It's legal. It's legalities. Yeah, that's it, man. We don't, we're not trying to... Yeah. If this media is propagated, I'm responsible for every iteration of that media and the consequences uh, after that. So if you had a, a billion dollars, you would invest in your company? Did I have that correctly? <laughs> then that billion dollars would quickly become like... Two trillion, and then I would be. Able no, but if you were the PM, like if you had to, you know, use that money wisely, you had to use it to for for public good. You know, you couldn't just use it for your own profit, right? You had to use it to wield the, okay. the, the well-being of the public. It's a bit longer to think about that. Actually, no, I don't. Same answer. Okay. <laughs> invest. Okay, invest. Invest. All right. Um, okay. So last question. Last question. So if hypothetical situation, if we were to go to war. You know, we just saw Afghanistan. No, what happened there? So the the next major we're, war. Pre World War Three, right now. So well, that's my that's my okay. That's what my question was going to be. Was how do you think the next world war or war in general is going to play out? Please tell me. It doesn't matter because we're the West. We're like literally literally irrelevant hedonists. The war is going to happen in in Asia. Shit's going to go down. They're going to ramp up their industrialization as we did during World War Two. Okay, China, Russia. India, Australia, the East is going to rule the world in the 2100s. They're going to be first to AI and technology. They understand that race, Elon Musk. And yeah, the West is literally a P already to India, China. And okay, if, they, if they nuked us, they can nuke America and then America would grow back. And then next ice age would happen and then New people would come, and then 10,000 years from now, they would be repopulated. It's like, we're, we are literally a zoo. Like, Vladimir Putin could slit all of our throats tonight, and he's just not. He's so kind. He's, he's very kind. He, dude, he, like, Trump should, I mean, fuck, Trump's probably giving him, anyways, whatever. Okay, so the next war is going to be in Asia, essentially, and the West is going to be irrelevant in it. You don't think we're going to have any play? Is it just going to play out there? We're not going to... Oh, we're just my, gonna... my, uh, you know, Pearl Harbor might have a sequel, let's say. Okay. Pearl Harbor might have a sequel. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I, I like the Notre Dame kind of uh, semi, you know, hey, I don't know <laughs> future. The future. I don't know the future. I'm not pontificating. Yeah. We're talking about the future. I'm it might happen, might happen not. Sure, I literally, none of this is scripted, y'all. There might be some penny stocks that might make you millions, they might not. Uh, no, no, the price, no, no, dude, the investment is solid advice. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's at least a 50 50, man. That's at least a 50 50, man. <laughs> that's as best as you can get, dude. Uncertainty principle. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, right? I studied chemistry. Look at this, is fire. Ow, hot, just kidding. <laughs> I, dude, I, I'm out. Okay, all right, man. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for your time, dude. Good to go. Hey, yo, excuse me, bro. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Sorry to bother you like this. Excuse me. We're just out here uh, interviewing some people on getting some ideas on some thoughts and stuff happening, getting some reaction videos. Is Do you have two minutes to uh, have a conversation real quick, dude? And then we'll leave you alone and... Uh, on peut, on peut faire en français On peut faire en français Si tu veux Si tu veux Si tu veux en français, on peut faire en français. Ok. Allez, salut, comment ça va Ça va bien et toi Ça va très bien, merci. C'est quoi ton nom C'est Eric et toi Eric, moi c'est Loïc. Allez. 
Enchanté, man. So, ce qu'on fait, c'est très simple. On fait juste se promener. On va voir la réaction sur des, euh, après, après les élections. Euh, tu sais, c'est Trudeau qui a encore été élu. Alors, on va voir la réaction des gens. Il y a une deuxième vidéo, une deuxième photo qui a été sortie euh, par rapport euh, au blackface de Trudeau. Je ne sais pas si tu avais entendu parler de ça. Non. Alors, euh, on va voir la réaction des gens. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez euh, de cette image par rapport à la personne qui nous représente ou à la personne euh, qui rule le pays? Donc, voici. Ça, c'est l'image. Donc, on veut savoir qu'est-ce que tu en penses, puis euh, qu'est-ce que ça éveille en toi, là. Bon, moi? Mm -hmm. C'est le président. C'est ça, c'est notre premier ministre. Alors, qu'est-ce que tu penses qu'il fasse des choses comme ça? C'est vraiment lui. <rire> non, mais je crois pas. Ah, je te crois pas. Je crois pas. <rire> Il y a la vidéo qui était sortie. Il y a cette photo qui était sortie avant. Puis là, juste, euh, juste avant les élections, ils ont ressorti la photo, mais là, en couleur. Donc, euh, peut-être pour faire parler un peu. Euh... Mais en gros, qu'est-ce que toi, tu penses de ça? Non, mais c'est un bouddhiste, lui. C'est un bouddhiste. C'est un clown. C'est un clown. Un vrai clown. Franchement, je crois pas. Ah, mais il fait sortir sa langue. Mais oui, c'est ça, là. Mais regarde, justement, il y a toutes des personnes euh, habillées normales. Habillées normales. Des extravagants pour se montrer plus. Mais en fait, que... en fait peut-être que c'est ces délits, tu vois. Mais il a le bon délit quand même. Okay. Moi, je pense que peut-être il va amener quelques petits changements. Alors, tu ne penses pas que c'est nécessairement quelque chose de négatif Non, pas trop. Okay. Chacun, cha à chacun, c'est délit. Hein. Okay. Parce qu'il y a des gens qui disaient c'est raciste, euh, tout ça. Tu ne penses pas Tu penses que c'est juste un déguisement C'est juste un déguisement. C'est juste son délit à lui. Ce qu'il veut faire. Okay, parfait. Chacun a sa manière de s'habiller, en fait. Exact. Right. Alors, euh, prochaine question. On voulait savoir, toi, là, par exemple, si tu... Tu étais le premier ministre du Canada, là, et puis euh, tu as autant d'argent que tu veux, on va dire tu as un milliard. Qu'est-ce que tu ferais avec cet argent pour, euh, qu -ce que tu ferais pour améliorer le pays ou pour, euh, pour, pour apporter des bonnes mesures, des, des meilleures mesures? Qu'est-ce que tu penses qu'il serait des actions à faire pour toi? Des actions à faire. Bon, moi je viens d'arriver ici. Mm -hmm. Tu viens d'où? Je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire. Hey, what's up, man? Bienvenue. Merci. Je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire et Congo A, Africa. Mm -hmm. euh, je viens de la Côte d'Ivoire et déjà je suis arrivé, j'étais épaté mm -hmm. par l'ensemble, les immeubles et tout. Parce qu'en Côte d'Ivoire, franchement, il n'y a pas ça. La, les rues, tellement ils sont ordonnées ici. Moi, je pense qu'il faut améliorer. C'est peut-être les, les personnes qui sont démunies, les personnes qui traînent. S'il ouais. y avait peut-être un milliard. Bon. Donc, essayer de faire plus de logements pour eux ou... Euh... Plus de logements pour eux, tu vois. Essayer d'améliorer parce que... Ce n'est pas, pas très correct de voir, et surtout que l'hiver arrive, ils vont... Bon, je ne sais pas comment le gouvernement gère ces trucs ici, mm -hmm. mais moi, je ne peux pas dire quelque chose et puis... Ouais, c'est simple. Est-ce que tu penses que ça serait mieux de les loger ou de trouver des façons de mieux les réinsérer dans la société, trouver des emplois, plus trouver des... Oui, ça dépend, ça dépend. Ça dépend des personnes. Si ce sont des personnes qui, ont, qui avaient des capacités, genre si ce sont des personnes qui ont des capacités, on peut, les, on peut trouver des emplois pour eux, mais si ce sont des personnes bizarres, Façon, façon. Voilà. Là, on peut, on peut donner le logement pour eux. Voilà. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Dernière question pour toi, ce serait juste de savoir... Euh, OK, on voulait mettre une mise en situation. Si jamais il y avait une troisième guerre mondiale qui devait commencer là, euh, prochainement, tu penses que ce serait qui les pays qui seraient, qui seraient impliqués? Puis euh, comment est-ce que ça débuterait nécessairement? Comment est-ce que ça débuterait selon toi? Troisième mmh. guerre mondiale. Mmh. Mais ils ont, ils ont les mêmes. Aïe. C'est pas moi qui dis les noms, hein. Moi, je dis les noms. Mais en tout cas, ce sont les mêmes. Les mêmes, les... Les... Les mêmes d'impliqués Voilà, les mêmes impliqués, là. On sait déjà. Les... Oh, c'est ça, on sait déjà. Entre parenthèses, ceux qui sont à côté, là. Ceux qui sont à deux heures de route d'ici, là. Voilà. Et puis, il y a l'autre continent aussi, là. L'autre continent. Où il y a puis, oh, la capitale. L'équipe de la capitale. Si vous n'avez pas compris, c'est pas grave. Non, l'équipe de la capitale. Paris. Oh. Paris. Voilà, l'Europe, voilà, c'est la Suisse et autres là. Voilà. Ouais, tous les alliés. Voilà, c'est tout. Peut-être la Chine aussi et le Japon. Ils ont été où Sinon, non, côté nous, nous côté Afrique, hein. guerre, va tourner notre truc. <rire> On n'a pas le temps de s'occuper de ça, il y a d'autres problèmes. Mais qui tu penses qui vont être les instigateurs de la guerre Qui vont commencer ça hmm. Non, franchement, là, il ne sait pas. Il ne sait pas. Il ne sait pas. Sûrement les voisins. Pas. Ouais, sûrement les voisins, mais là, je ne sais pas. Ouais. Ouais, mais merci beaucoup pour ton temps en tout cas. Hein? Merci beaucoup.
Hello, sir. Thank you for joining us. So we're out here after the election, talking to the people on the streets, trying to get their reactions about something that took place during the election that didn't get too much coverage. That thing being uh, this photo of Trudeau, our prime minister, uh, Justin Trudeau, of blackface, you know, uh, in color, released. So we're just out here trying to talk to people, see their opinion. What do you think? Is it just whatever, no big deal? Or is it like, oh, you know, you feel some type of way about it? We're just trying to get, get people's reactions and, and see what they think well, what do you think sir uh, and could you tell us your name first uh, first and foremost sir okay my name is uh, ismail lbg ismail lbg ismail lbg appreciate it sir uh, you talk french yeah we oui, on parle français aussi oui, français un peu mieux okay <laughs> on peut faire l'interview en français aussi oui. c'est plus juste une question de c'est quoi vous pensez de cette image de est-ce que c'est juste normal ou est-ce que c'est pas normal Ce n'est pas normal, oui. Ce n'est pas bien, ce n'est pas bien comme ça. Parce que c'est notre premier ministre, il faut que, que ce soit une bonne image. Mm -hmm. euh, c'est Bon, euh, donc euh, le, le deuxième question, euh, on va savoir si vous étiez le premier ministre avec un milliard de dollars. Vous auriez fait quoi avec vos comptes? Euh, normalement, Il faut aider les pauvres. Moi, si j'ai beaucoup d'argent, je dois aider d'abord les pauvres, les gens qui n'ont pas moyen. C'est tous les vieillards. Il faut les aider. C'est ouais. important, c'est important, n'est-ce pas? On a toujours besoin de penser de les pauvres, de les gens qui ont moins que nous. Euh, puis, OK, merci, monsieur. Euh, la, la troisième question. Donc, s'il y a une, euh, une autre guerre mondiale, Euh, c'est comment que ça va se passer c'est qui seront les les, les premiers acteurs euh, qu'est-ce euh, qu que c'est quoi vous pensez de ça euh, normal la guerre c'est ce que moi je n'aime pas moi j'aime la paix je veux que tout le monde vive en paix et libre ça. Ouais. libre c'est vraiment important n'est-ce pas habiter librement non ok oui okay, donc, merci. merci monsieur pour votre temps ça ça fait plaisir Here today with Pauline. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Okay, thank you guys for joining us. So, what happened during the election, if you guys are aware, there was a photograph that was released of our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. That photograph is not so the best, and we're trying to get the people's reaction. Is it, uh, you know, whatever, or is it like, you know, a big deal, or is it business as usual, you know? So, we're just trying to get people's reactions, see what they think. And this is the image that uh, we have of our uh, Prime Minister. So, we're just trying to see, wh wh what do you guys think of that? What, what do you guys make of that? Is it just whatever, or is it like, okay, this is like not, not acceptable? Was it not published like super long ago? I remember that debate from like a while back, actually. It, it was. This was a new one that was released in color. The previous ones were in black and white, so this is a new one. Ah, great! Awesome. More, more colorful with the energy and everything, you know? <laughs> I mean, do you want to... I mean, it's definitely not okay, at least for today. I don't know when the photograph was taken. 2001. 2001. Like, ter I mean, terrible. Uh, what do you think? 2001. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's not good for anybody to do that kind of stuff. It's just like, like ever does like I don't know, and it's like I don't even know what he's picturing exactly. Like, uh, is it a character or is he picturing like a racial group? So uh, apparently, the party was an Arabian theme night event. So just an Arab random Arabian guy, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, a random Arabian guy. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. And you can see the, the gentlemen in the back that are kind of like more normal. Yeah. More normally like dressed. The, are they waiters? I don't know. They just like <laughs> look like guys are just having a conversation. Interesting. Yeah, he looks to be way too much into yeah. it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's like I have no sympathy at all for this kind of behavior. Yeah. I think it's like kind of appalling, especially when you're trying to have like you know a kind of a progressive government and when uh, you're trying to. Uh, preach uh, multiculturalism as well and uh, yeah. respect for other cultures and like all the cultures living together side by side it's like uh, yeah. <laughs> that's awkward. not the best image no not at all so yeah that's wow do you want to add anything i mean it's just like i wouldn't advise anybody to do that something like that and it's just weird and it's just w even weirder for someone that want to go in politics yeah. and be in politics and be the prime minister yeah I mean, it's just not acceptable at um, least with social media yeah. now we can have access to that and it's like uh, it's out in the open so I guess there's some benefits to 
having that like you're held accountable for your actions yeah yeah i think there's there's some positives from social media you hold people accountable for this type of stuff but to me show somebody that like really always wants attention you you always want to be the center of the party you know there's some people that are like colorful you're very good. Exactly, he's very colorful. Okay, so a uh, second question for you guys: um, If you guys were the prime minister, uh, you had billion dollars to to spend on whatever program that you wanted. How how would you spend it? Yeah, I'm just curious. How would you guys do it? You know, we're out here criticizing the prime minister. It's not an easy job. You know, let's give him benefit of the doubt. It's it's tough. It's tough being the PM. So you have a, you have a lot. <laughs> Imagine you didn't put that many money on buying Keystone. Uh, for nothing and maybe investing all that money in actually improving what we do for the environment and being part of the solution right now and not just being sorry and pushing the problem to the next uh, prime minister in line yeah and money for indigenous communities on top of that like having uh, like there's a, there are a lot of voices right now in, indig in indigenous communities saying that they want to they want more than just a day for truth and reconciliation they want actual reparations so i think it's important that we get like that this i'm talking as if i was the prime minister like if if i had money that would be a hundred percent something that i think canada should do because they would be i mean they've treated indigenous people so poorly i think as poor even poorer than in the states and it's still like it's like oh yeah they have this piece of land and it's like part of their small heritage and they have nothing and they live with nothing it's yeah i'm, I'm sad that like canada is preaching openness and uh, progressive values so much and that it is treating these indigenous people so poorly actually it's a bit hypocritical right we're kind of saying one thing but then yeah. we're doing something the opposite right it's not it's not the best image but that's kind of how politics is unfortunately sometimes yeah. okay so last question ended on a little bit of a dark note so looking at the global situation we just saw afghanistan it it came to an end what is going to be the next global war that can the us the west is a part of what is going to be the biggest thing how, is it going to be happening in china is it going to be russia something happening in the middle east what's in the in the south pacific sea of asia what what do you guys think what, what are your thoughts on that I think for Afghanistan, we were dragged into helping our neighbor and just try to, I don't know, like secure the area. Now, yeah. I don't think Canada will be involved directly in any war except to help our allies. So it's going to be probably about resources, lack of water and uh, mm -hmm. population movement because of the like everything about climate change and um, the lack of resources. I can see, uh, like, because of course, if you look at a uh, recent I history, Russia has been super expansionist in the in Eastern Europe with Crimea, Ukraine, etc. Yeah. So I could see something there potentially happening because Russia has always had kind of a grasp over these territories, which are Russophone as well. So that would be maybe something that I could see, like them basically moving in tanks and the European Union being like, please guys, stop! <laughs> we are definitely opposed to the situation. And then uh, at some point it's Here's like... a resolution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like We condemn these actions. Absolutely. The international community condemns these actions. And I mean, yeah. I think maybe that could be there uh, because Russia is kind of scary with that. Like we know that they they want to... They want to basically get these countries to get yeah. these areas but because they're like oh they're of russian culture language heritage they're ours <laughs> well, well, well. could you see something happening in the next couple of years since biden is in offense and he's kind of looking weak and could you think there's gonna be a push or nah we're good for the next little while i'm not sure because like i think again like there's something i think with war and with the way it has evolved over the past decades that um, like it's not like we have war country against country like uh, it's not like you get a declaration of war between the prince of holland or whatever yeah. <laughs> um, but you do get uh, infra like sub state organization fighting against each other so it's like uh, it's not like uh, daesh is a country real well they would like us right. to think about it, that, them that way but it's not really a country so i think it's it could be like sub states structures that are actually attacking i could see maybe terrorism proxy wars, proxy wars exactly not like state like uh, the government of whatever is declaring yeah. war on this other government yeah exactly. war doesn't work that way i think either so resources water movement climate change 
and Russia. East, East, and Russia. And Russia. And Russia. You, okay, no, no, no issues from China. Okay, oh yeah, you guys, are, you guys are right there, right? You guys are pretty dependent on the oil, the gas. Yeah, they're kind of sucking you guys in. Okay, well, thank you guys for your time. Really, thank you guys for joining us. So we're on the streets, by where market. We're joined by this lovely group of four individuals. Can you guys just fill us in? What's your names here? I'm Matt. Spencer. Cameron. Destiny. Matt Spencer, Cameron, Destiny, wonderful. So we have this wonderful image over here of our Prime Minister. You guys said you haven't seen it, so this is gonna be perfect because the whole point of this video is a reaction video, right? So it's an image that was released of Justin Trudeau. It was blackface. We've seen it before, but this one was in color. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. See what you guys think of it. Oh, wow. That's a little That's less. Justin Trudeau? That, that's, just a, that's our Prime Minister. How old? Yeah, like, how, like, <laughs> like, how old is this guy here? Like, 2001, 2001. So how how old is he now? How old is he now? I don't know. Like I don't, I don't like. Is this like a Halloween party? Like like what is? Like this is just I'm gonna go out and this is how I'm gonna look. No, so apparently it was an Arabian theme night party. It was while he was a teacher and uh, this was like his his colleagues from okay. from from school right. from from his private school that he was teaching so at. He's, so he's white. And then he, he paints his whole yeah. black <laughs> at. A different, like, it doesn't make sense. That's that's pretty goofy. I have to say, that's like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, not 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 no, a no, no, not no, no. Like, not not a good reaction. Like if you're looking for a reaction video, it would be like, how did he make it to where he is now with that? With that photo, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> guy played his cards right, but like, so that, that, not not. That, really well. That's the thing. It was just released before the election, so it wasn't really circulating. I guess it was just held, and then I have no, I, I don't know. It, it apparently, it was like the night before it was released, so. Okay. Yeah, um, but not 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 the best look. But yeah. so we're trying to see people. Some people are like, well, you know, what it is, what it, it is. is, what yeah, it is. You like, know, he did his own thing at the time. But I mean, like at the end of the day, like this guy's representing it. Sure, we could pull up any old photo and like disgrace or discriminate someone. But at the end of the day, if he had bad intentions, that's what you're gonna get bad intentions back. If he didn't, then just do your thing. Just be the right guy. Yeah. I think that that's key. The, the intentions matter, right? Yeah, like it maybe does. It really does. Right. Yeah. Like, maybe you don't mean to harm. Unfortunately, you do harm. We want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Well, like, hopefully I can, and I hope he can prove himself to us. Like, he just got reelected. Like, like yeah. show up, give us some game. Like, we want to, like, shout your name, not fucking tear you down. <laughs> like, do something right. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay, he just got reelected, and I'm going to ask if you were reelected or if you were elected, what would you guys do if you had, like, a billion if dollars? That, if I was in that situation with blackface out there? No, no, no. If, if you just had... If you just had... If you just had, like, a billion dollars to spend... On the economy, you know the economy's in shits. So you're like, how, how do we get out of it? What are you guys gonna do? How are you gonna fix the, the issues? How are you guys? We're, we're all out here criticizing the the PM, but it's not easy, right? It's not easy, no, guys. No, for sure. How are you guys? If I had, <laughs> like, this is the, a Spencer interview. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll chime in. By all like that, that's hard, like, cause I don't know what you would, I would have to fully do in the first place with that, but like, community-wise, like maybe make something that brings us together because right now COVID has separated us like a, a, like a shit ton and like if anything if he can bring us all together in a sense being re-elected I think he'll get a good props in his hands because bringing us together will just give him that up so I mean if I had that money I would try to bring the community together and get something going and do something beautiful about it like let's get together like, throw like a, a big jam a big can, like you know COVID's <laughs> gonna stop us but if we can make the most yeah. of it we'll do it right yeah so we have uh one billion dollars you are in charge sir you are prime minister you're the finance minister you have to spend it on the economy how you gonna do it tell me uh i'm tell probably us. gonna support local and especially with covid like everything got shut down and if you didn't get grants from the government then you kind of got screwed and you had to get shut down right so probably use some of that money to support local business and build the economy back up in each individual community so it's yeah. probably like my main point yeah. i don't really know what else i'd do that, that's, small business that's small business that's huge that's huge in tone, so. i'm not a business major i don't know <laughs> <laughs> just to help the small businesses you know there's so many like corporations walmart they did better amazon they did better like why not help the local guys right so yeah, sure. i also think that we should do more things that are better for the economy so when it comes to environmental instead of focusing on the negative that always happens we should focus on what we can do to make the planet last a long time um like in implementing watering systems that are more better for the economy um like maybe even locally grown things, like more like that kind of stuff. Introduce them more to the like, sustainable. More sustainable, like I think it's important and it's what we need to focus on. And I think as a community, we should come together and be one and like more for the community and what's gonna better everybody. And I think that's what I would do. Get the community just together. Yeah. Everybody can agree on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody can agree on that. The thing we need right now, honestly, is yeah. 
bring us together. Because when we're here right now, like we never met each other, and we can just bank it off, and that's how it should be with everyone. If you never met someone, you shouldn't have a judgment or anything. So like, True. let's do the same with Trudeau. You know, hopefully, he can change his ways. <laughs> I like that. And then on a positive note, and on a positive note, appreciate you guys. Thank yeah, you yo, so, much. so much. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, have yourself a great day. Easy. Really appreciate it.